What's going on everyone? How you guys doing? Uh, my name is Zeke for those of you who don't know me yet and um, for those of you who do know me and are quite familiar with some of my videos that I've put up um, you'll notice that my camera is a little bit different. I've actually got like the old camera back. Um, my GoPro is still here but I've just used this for the sake of having like a nice closed in angle if you know what I mean um, because this is a tutorial video and um, I'm gonna need you to be able to see like the hand movements and stuff on the guitar. So um, Basically the reason for this tutorial and the tutorials that are to come um, is because over the last couple of months I've had a lot of people both on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter um, they've just asked me, you know, hey, do you have the tabs for this or um, is this in normal tuning or like just blatantly, how do you play this song? So I thought um, three days ago actually I put up a status on Facebook and a post on Twitter just asking people, alright, what song do you want me to, you know, show you and do a bit of a tutorial to explain how I did it? And so, um, the feedback was really incredible. Thank you so much for, um, for taking the time to voice your opinion and your, your request. Um, and so today is the very first one of hopefully many, uh, tutorials that I get to do for you guys. Um, and it's for Sweater Weather by The Neighbourhood. I did this cover a few months ago and people seem to enjoy it. So I thought I'd I do this one off the bat because it was the one that was requested the most. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna get straight straight into it. Hopefully, you can understand how I, what I say and my words because I find it hard to explain myself sometimes because I just do things. But I'm gonna try my best, and I hope you guys will bear with me. Um, and also, before I do anything, just so you know, just a quick disclaimer at the top. Um, this is in regards to every tutorial that I'm to do in the future as well. This isn't the, the right way to play the songs, okay? These, these are just my interpretations of, of the pieces. Um, if you do want to learn, like, the legit, like, way that they play it, um, sorry to say, this isn't the place to learn it because I'm just making it up as I go um, when it comes to playing covers and stuff. I just, I play it how I, I think it sounds um, and, and the way that I enjoy it. So, um, if that's cool with you, it's cool with me. And um, let's get straight into it. So... Sweater Weather by The Neighbourhood. Basically, if you want to play it on guitar, you, you obviously need the instrument in your hands to do so. Um, <clears throat> and also, if you want to wear a sweater, you can, you can do that too. Um, yeah, so anyway, so the cover that I played is in normal tuning, nothing different about the strings. All I changed was um, I just put a capo on the third fret. Okay, so it's a capo right there. Um, I'm also going to talk from the perspective of like, as if I'm actually, I'm speaking to musicians, so people will know what, you know, what what G is and what D is and how to play A and how to play C and things like that, okay? So, um, if you do have any other questions about, it, dude, you know, how do you actually play C or what is C and, and all this sort of thing, don't don't be afraid to ask. I, I, will, I will reply um, as quick as I can on Facebook or con on YouTube and stuff. But yeah, so... Just so you guys know. Um, so basically, Sweater Weather is very simple. It's like four chords in that same progression the whole way through. Um, and that being said, because it's so simple, it all comes down to just the dynamic that you choose to play it in regards to like your, your plucking and your strumming. So um, the chord progression that we play is C, A minor, um, E minor, and then B minor. Okay. Um, so basically, in in the video that I did, I alternate between like the bar chord C C major seven um, and like the A major A minors and stuff like that. For today and for simplicity's sake, because I don't know how to explain it right, um, I'm just gonna show like like an easy way to play it. And it is the formation that I do use throughout the video. It's just not the one that I use the whole video, if that makes sense. So um, straight away, we're playing C C major seven. And um, you can play it the traditional way with your three fingers like that if you if you want. That's cool. Um, I play it a little bit different. So all I do is I still use the same fingers, but I actually put my my middle finger where my ring finger is, and I put my pointer finger where my middle finger is. So it ends up being like that, okay. And then with my ring finger, I actually move it down to the B string on the third fret, okay. So it's right below your middle finger still and you strum from the A string all the way down so it ends up like that I'm not playing, I'm not like 
making a bar or anything with my pointer finger, it's all open. Um, so you hear every string, obviously, except for the top E string. Okay, that's what we're playing. The second chord is an A minor. And um, again, you can play it traditionally if you want. You can play it like that. I play it a little bit different. Um, same kind of principle, I, but, but instead of playing it with all the fingers like that, I actually take my ring, ring finger off and I put my pinky over on the G, okay, on the bottom E string, so the third fret. So you end up with, okay, the pointer finger and the middle finger don't move at all. So you, you strumming from the A string still, you end up with, okay. And now the next chord is E minor. And um, again, you can play it the way that you, know, you get taught in, in school and stuff. Um, I play it different again. So um, to make it easier and f easier to understand, basically you can play the, the C that I showed you before, like that, and all I'm doing is I'm just moving my middle finger like back to the second fret, okay? And just to make it easier, I just swap fingers. So I'm not like playing twister with my hands. Anyway, so yeah, so you end up with that. And then um, I move my middle finger down to the bottom E string on the second fret, so you end up with, and I'm just going to play individually, like each string individually, um, so you know what to what to listen out for. So the um, pointer finger will sound like that on B, and the ring finger will sound like, and the bottom E will be, okay, and because it's E minor you can strum from the top E string, it'll just be the bass note, so you end up with, so, so far we've got C major 7th, A minor, and then E minor, okay, and they might be 7ths and 8ths and 9ths and, and 20ths and stuff like that as well, I don't know, but yeah, so, so far we've got... Alright, the last one is B minor, and um, all I do is if you, if you play the e, uh, the e minor the same way I just showed you, all you have to do to get to B minor is move your middle finger up two strings, so you end, it ends up on the G, okay? Still on the second fret though, so you end up with that there. Still strum it all the same way, except for, because you're playing B now, not E, you strum from that A string again. Alright, I hope that makes sense. Um, so all together now, all four chords, you end up with... That's literally the whole song, like, it's not even that crazy hard to figure out. Um, obviously, like, I am I am plucking um, in some parts, so I'm just going to go through that really quick. So we're just, we're going to play the same chords, same formation that we just learnt. Um, and the, the chord progression that I play, uh, sorry, the plucking pattern that I play in the verses, it sounds like... simple. All I'm doing with my thumb, I'm using these three fingers, all right, my thumb, my pointer, and my middle finger. Um, and so I'm playing the bass with my thumb, obviously, because it's at the top. So, um, and with my pointer finger and my, my middle finger, what I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm strumming, I'm always plucking two strings at once. So, um, depending on what chord I'm playing, it alternates between plucking the G and the B string. Okay, so there you're the second, last, and the, the third one in from the bottom, so those two. I alternate between plucking those two at the same time, and also, and then going to plucking the E and the B string at the same time. Okay, so with the C, I'm, I'm, I'm plucking the G and the B, and I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm just like, kind of like slapping the strings with my hand on the on the offbeat. I, because I grew up playing the drums, um, the way I pluck sometimes kind of reflects like a more percussive way of doing things and that's why you hear the like all the time. It's my way of making like a snare sound kind of thing. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, so 
the G and the B string are getting plucked at the same time for the C. Um, when you go to the A minor, I'm going down to the B and the E. So, okay. E minor, I'm staying on the B and the E. Okay. And then um, with the B, I'm going back up to the B and the G. Okay. Um, just a side note, if you are playing and you're trying to pluck and you're new to it, don't think that you have to pluck like and get a sound out of every single string. You only do that if you if you really need it. Like in this song, though, you don't need it. it as long as you're hitting the the bass notes, and you're getting kind of like and you're plucking those two strings I just told you in each kind of um, segment, you'll get the right sound. Sometimes. Okay, so it's like, it's pretty easy, um, and then you got to sing it at the same time, so that makes it a bit difficult, but yeah, um, and then there's like a part in the song that I did like a bit of like a kids um, by MGMT um, thing, and I'm strumming it there, I'm pretty sure, um, and all I'm doing is I'm just going... strumming down and then kind of like mute strumming it. I don't know what they call that. Well, I'm gonna make it up. But yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm like strumming it but muting it with the palm of my hand at the same time. So you end up with that. It's like a you're not really getting any tone out of it at all. And then strumming up. Phone on silent. Anyway, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, there is like a that I do like once in the song, and I made it up as I went. But all I'm doing is I'm playing like the bar chord B minor. I know we're up to like almost 13 minutes, so this is the last thing I'll show you. Um, <laughs> bar chord B minor, um, middle finger. <laughs> it's so hard to explain. I won't even worry. Um, if you do want to learn that, just um, let me know and I'll I'll do like a thing for you so you can figure it out. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the gist. Um, I hope that helps you in some sort of way. If not, it just annoys you because it just made it harder for you to understand. And if that's the case, YOLO and good luck with learning the song. Um, in the meantime, um, keep loving music, keep loving life, and um, I'll talk to you really soon. Take care, right?